A Bonita Springs church whose pastor is accused of misspending nearly a million dollars is wrapping up its investigation into Father Stan Streichartz. Alyssa Reitmeyer is live at St. Leo Catholic Church with the findings of that report. Well, over the weekend, the bishop issued this letter to the parish, finally explaining where all that money in question has gone. I mean, it's a holy place, and uh, I don't think anyone would ever expect it. It's been a year since the investigation into Father Stan Stryker's alleged misspending began. Now that parishioners know the details of the allegations, many are stunned. You know, it's disheartening, and it, uh, it's definitely concerning for, you know, me as well as all the other, you know, people who attend church and, and give their money and, you know, hope to see that money go to something good for people who actually need it. Over the weekend, the bishop wrote a letter to churchgoers in the bulletin detailing the financial discrepancies found in an audit. It alleges $665,000 of parish funds were used to pay for the pastor's credit card bills, $171,000 in tuition for the children of a former business manager, and almost $150,000 paid to his brother's Naples-based painting service. We went to Father Stan's home to get some answers, but despite a car in the driveway, no one came to the door. The diocese says the pastor has refused to offer any explanation for the expenses. A priest has not cooperated with the financial review that shows over a million dollars in unaccounted for questionable expenses is uh, at the very least frustrating. Others decided to stay, but say they need more answers. I'm glad to see that at least finally they're getting a breakdown and, and starting to see some numbers here, but there's a, still a lot of questions. Uh, that I would have and I think a lot of other people would have. Now tonight that priest remains on paid administrative leave. The diocese says they've yet to make a decision as to whether they'll pursue legal charges. We're live in Bonita Springs. Alyssa Reitmeyer, Wink News, 9-11.